Jaden grabbed my We went outside and we went, we were walking down the stairs because that's what we usually do when there's a fire alarm. And all of a sudden we hear, I hear someone say, run for your life, code red. And I, I just freeze and my friend says, Jaden grab my hand and don't let go of it. And all of a sudden I ran back up the stairs because that's, that was my first instinct to get back into my classroom. And my teacher was telling everyone, get back in the class, get back in the class. I don't know if this is a drill or if it's not, because we have been talking about drills for a very long time recently. For some reason, they've been talking about it and what they would do and what the policies are, and they've had meetings about it, and it just so happens that this occurred on this day. Um, there was people screaming everywhere, like, let me in, people banging on doors, and my teacher actually let six people in the classroom. Many people were sitting at their desks, but I personally felt more comfortable in a closet, whether I knew, I had a feeling it was real. I just knew, like, I was like, this is, they would never keep kids for, this, at the time it was like 15 minutes where when I decided, like, I'm going in the closet, they would never keep kids for 15 minutes, like, worrying like this. So I went into the closet with my friend and we were just, like, we were still holding hands. She was like, we were both like crying and people were telling us like, why are you guys crying? This is fake. And I knew it wasn't. And our teacher was sitting out there and she told us to just be quiet because like, just in case someone came in. So her sister was actually in the freshman building and her sister said to her that the glass was actually broken in the room and the shooter had, she saw her best friend die. And I was just in total shock. Like that's when I knew like this is totally 100% real. I texted my mom. I was like, mom, I love you. I don't know if I'm going to die. I don't know what's going to happen. I just want you to know like, that I love you so much. And it was really emotional for me. And it, I was in total shock and disbelief that something like this could happen. And my friend was just scrolling through Twitter and she saw shooter Nick Cruz. And I was like, Nick Cruz. And it just came to me. I've known that kid since middle school and it just came to me. I was like, I was not surprised. None of us were shocked. If I, if someone said, if you have to pick one person to shoot up the school, who would it be? I think so many of the students would have said him. And it's really disappointing that nobody ever did anything about it. And as we were going out of, when the, I think it was about like three hours of us worrying in a closet, hiding, that the SWAT team members came in and broke through our glass and told us to put our hands up and leave our belongings in the room. That was also a really surreal moment where it felt like this was just crazy because as we were walking out, there was so many SWAT team members who were just guarding us and making sure that, that we know that we're safe and okay now. But it's just, it's just such a crazy thing that happened. I never have, never would have thought at my school, you always hear about it and read about it and it's always on the news, but I never would have thought at my school, like 17 people would have been gone forever. And it just, I can't imagine any parent who has to go through this now and like, has to know like they can never they're never going to see their child again because of this one crazy kid who just never got help. I actually have some friends who are in the senior class who they ran out when they heard the shooting. They were I think that they were on the other side of the building, like not close to the freshman building so they actually could run out and they were like running to Walmart and the shooter was when he finished whatever he was doing, he actually ran he was actually running with the crowd and he happened to be with them and he told them he was like guys like we gotta run faster we gotta we gotta get out of here this is what I heard that he told my friend and my friend was like yeah this is crazy like I can't believe someone would do this and the kid was and Nick Cruz was like I know I know this is we, but we just gotta keep moving and they were talking to him and saying like he was saying what are you guys gonna do for college and then when they asked him he said he was going to trade school and he was just acting like he just didn't kill 17 people and injure people with a gun in the school and he, uh, he didn't just create a huge thing that's never going to go away and like after that I know that he went to Walmart and then he got a drink at the subway in there and he went to go eat at McDonald's and it's just it's crazy that someone could be so sick and do that.